Hey everybody, and thank you for joining us for our Facebook Live. We're gonna go over a little bit of stuff about our Halloween bash. And the best part about it is this year, it's absolutely free. You might've been uh, participating last year in our Halloween party that we had, and we thought this year we're just gonna open up to everybody. And I do have a really super, super special guest. Uh, but before I get to that, I have Jennifer Deer here sitting in the, the back. Say hi, Jen. Hello, everyone. Awesome, awesome. Hopefully everybody could hear Jennifer. And we do have a really special guest today, don't we? We do. Yeah, who is it? You want to do the announcement? Our Drum firstborn, roll? Bethany, is joining us. Okay. So Yay! Beth, how are you? Hello. I'm good. How are you? Awesome, awesome. Okay, and you got some earbuds. I do. I don't look okay, like good. Mickey Mouse. Yeah, yeah. yeah for sure. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, this is my daughter, Beth, and I thought she would be the perfect person to uh, uh, do this little announcement with me, with me because she is in charge of many things in our business on a day-to-day -day basis, but one of them is uh, a lot of our social media, our blogs, uh, getting things organized, keeping, I guess, mainly the boys in the family organized. Would you say that's accurate, Beth? Yeah. <laughs> okay. That okay. includes and you. What's that? Yes. You? And, well, of course, including me. She's uh, she's just like her mom, so she she gives orders well. Um, but I did want to also say, Beth, you kind of joined us full time a while ago, like a little while ago. How long has it been now? I know it feels like a million years, but how many how many months? I think it's been? actually been a year now. Okay, it's been a year. Last September, okay. yeah. So last September, so it's officially a year that you've been with us full time. But I just want everyone to know that uh, Beth was probably the first one to start, I guess, working within the company. I mean, since you were yes. how old? Um, I think I was like 11 or 12. Yeah, yeah. And she's long remember, time ago. Well, all well not that long ago, but. <laughs> well, come on. It is getting, it's a while ago. But okay. uh, you helped out in the office. You did all kinds of work with us, I guess, in there. But one of the best parts for me was you used to help me when we did events on the road. And uh, how, I mean, you did a ton of them. Didn't you? True? Yeah. Yeah. It was really fun. We always had other things planned, got to explore, had some time together. So for sure, it was nice. For sure. <laughs> we got to go to Disney and do all kinds of stuff. And uh, yes. that's that's kind of the the cool thing is uh, I guess I I did travel a ton for almost 15 years I was on the road doing dealer events and we primarily worked with Baby Lock and Brother Dealers and Beth actually accompanied me on the road for many many of those events so if any of you who are watching did meet Beth years ago uh, give us a little you know where you met her from all that good stuff but I'm gonna tell everybody my favorite Beth on the road story is that okay Beth? Uh oh. <laughs> we didn't talk about this before. <laughs> no, we didn't talk about it. I didn't it was, see it's always better to ask for forgiveness and, and mom's mom's over there giving me some glaring looks. With it. This one is actually funny because it combines with the best uh my one of my favorite times on the road with you and it was actually during Halloween. Is it ringing a bell now? <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> You're scared? Okay. Well, it's, it's nothing nothing bad, but I will say this, you weren't really young at that point. You actually I think were in your first year of university. So you're helping us do an event somewhere, and it was over the, uh, I guess, close to Halloween anyways, and you needed a costume, and if you've uh, been in Canada and seen the sort of outlet stores for Halloween, they're not anywhere as large as the ones in the U.S., true? I mean, they're, and they're, they're more expensive. In Canada, they're more expensive. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, we decided to go to one of these Halloween outlet stores so Beth could find a Halloween costume. So I'm there with Beth and Miss Debbie. What, uh, Debbie Denny, and hi, if you're watching, we love you. Uh, Debbie I'm Debbie. Was my, <laughs> Debbie was my right-hand person for many, many years, and she uh, would love to you know, travel with us, and she kind of instigated this as well. But we went to one of these stores and Beth was looking for an outfit. Now, keep in mind, she's in university and she pulls out all these outfits. And one was actually, what would I call it? A, uh, a naughty nurse outfit. Do you remember that outfit, Beth? You can just call it a nurse outfit. Okay. It, well, on the package, it looked like a naughty nurse outfit. And I was a little stammered because here I am, dad, and my daughter is, you know, she's in my mind still like 12 years old, even though you were in university. And I was like, no, 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 this, this can't be happening. And, and Debbie's like, oh, that'd be so cute. And I'm like, what are you doing? So <laughs> the best part of it was I'm sitting there just beside myself, not knowing what to say or where to look. And all of a sudden there's a guy standing beside me about my age. 
And I look at him and he looks at me and all he does is this. He shakes his head no. So, <laughs> but that was one of my that was one of my favorite Halloween stuff. So we have a Halloween uh, party coming up, and we are going to dress up. And Beth, you have to dress up too, but you're not going to be a nurse. Definitely not. Okay. 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 <laughs> yeah. Just she so can you know, be the mom uh, of three nurse. Yeah, a mom of three nurse. That's right. Beth, Beth, <laughs> so just no makeup. Okay. <laughs> So anyways, I, I really appreciate your being here with me, Beth, and you're going to actually help, I guess, fill in all the blanks because I know I always forget to say a ton of stuff, but we do yes. have our Halloween bash. We're going to do all kinds of giveaways. There's going to be two contests, which Beth, Beth is going to help us uh, go over, and we're going to have a, a lot of fun other little things. I'm going to be doing some demos. Uh, if you didn't hear uh, from the last fa Facebook Live, I kind of put a bit of a challenge out to uh, Linda Rayburn that she was going to do a design and I do a design and we can't compete in the contest, but we're going to kind of compete at each, uh, I guess, uh, with each other. And I did get a chance to talk to Linda, I guess, earlier yesterday, and she's already working on her project and, and telling that me. It doesn't surprise and, me. Yeah. So <laughs> I, and I got to admit, I am, I'm getting a little worried. I, uh, I had a bit of. You should be. Trouble. Thanks, Beth. Uh, who do you think is going to win, Beth? Should I just Go win that? <laughs> okay. T tell you what, if you guys are on Facebook or YouTube, type in now who you think is going to win. If it's going to be Linda or John, okay? And yeah, we'll, we'll see. Who do you think is going to win, Jen? Well, all of us women have to stick together. <laughs> okay, so. everybody's, everybody's staying together. Well, the worst part is I do have an idea in my head of what I'm going to do. And I really don't know if it's going to actually work or not at this point. And odds are I'll probably do it for, I don't know, maybe two or three days before we actually do the contest because I have a, a gift of procrastination. Right, Beth? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I think the anyways, boys take after you too. <laughs> yeah, I think they do. And mom and you are like two peas in a pod. Uh, you look the same even. So uh, anyways, we're going to do this uh, Halloween bash. And I just want everybody to know that it is absolutely free. So you can participate in this. We're going to be doing it on uh, YouTube and Facebook. So it'll be streaming on the 29th and at 6 p.m., I believe, uh, mm -hmm. on both of those uh, you know, social media platforms. But we are also doing a Zoom uh, webinar as well. And I'll tell you about that afterwards. But there, there is two different contests that we're doing. One is our Halloween Embroidery Legacy Contest. And this is for people who don't own Hatch and don't want to necessarily create something themselves, but they want to just do stuff with stock designs. And the only guidelines are is you need a black t-shirt and you need to use one or many of our designs. We have like 410 Halloween designs in our legacy. And you don't have to be a club member, just so you know, mm -hmm. because we do sell our designs individually. And right now, I think they're on sale, aren't they? They are on sale. They're half off, so they're a dollar ninety-five a design. Yeah, I, I mean, for all the design, Halloween designs. All the Halloween designs, and I, even mm -hmm. that design that's on the shirt there, which is spectacular. I think that one is on sale as well. I'm not sure if that was a large legacy design or not, but there is a ton. So just go to our site, go to the design page. There's a banner that says Halloween design sale. And it'll take you right to the designs where you can see all of them on sale. So that, that's a pretty easy contest. Now, the other thing I should say is with any of these, uh, we ask that you use one of our designs as far as a stock design. But you can go kind of crazy with doing other things as well. And I'm talking sort of like uh, multimedia, meaning if you want to grab other things to embellish your shirt or, you know, spray paint. Mylar or mylar, applique or anything yeah. like that. So, so just go crazy and make it, make it yours, but make it lots of fun. Now, I, I do know that if you want the contest entry, like all of the, I guess, uh, rules, we do have, how are we doing that, Beth? People just send in an email? Yes, if you email into the office um, at contact at embroiderylegacy.com, Leanne will send you um, an email with all the rules and everything, and um, she will give you a link. Awesome, awesome. And one of the links, I think, is to the next one that we're doing. And oh, there's a, a slide for the design sale. So tons and tons of designs to choose from and all 51% off. Uh, so that's uh, available if you want to participate in that contest. And we are giving away some great prizes. We're actually giving away memberships from our lower membership all the way to the highest because we have a first, second, and third place. So 
you will win a great prize and you'll get literally hundreds and hundreds of designs to sell out over the course of the year. So you, you'll be ready for next year's Halloween contest. Uh, mm -hmm. But we do have our EMB contest. And this is the one that I'm kind of excited about because it's again a black t-shirt, but we are going to send you the EMB files. And there's three different for free. files. Yes, absolutely free. And everybody loves that word. So you'll get those word. files. It is. <laughs> So you, you'll get those files and uh, then you can play with them however you want. And I'm going to give you a demo in a couple minutes, just taking one of these and showing you some fun stuff that I can do with it. Uh, for those of you who have the Hatch software, this is a uh, contest that is specifically kind of for our Hatch members. But if you don't own Hatch, that's okay. You can download the free trial. We have education. You have 30 days and uh, we are... Do you remember, Beth, uh, when we're asking for the entries to be sent back to us? I think it's the... Uh, the 27th. Okay, so the 27th. So that gives us... So two us days couple, before. Yep, two days before the live stream. Mm -hmm. uh, we ask that you send pictures, a high-resolution picture of your actual design that you want to enter. And then we will go through them and we'll kind of narrow them down to our you know, top few favorite. And then we will vote and see who wins. Now, did I forget anything, Beth, as far as the contest uh, rules are concerned? Um, for the EMB contest, they're allowed to use the ESA fonts, um, be super creative. You can also use the multimedia um, effects. And... and now when we say the ESA uh, fonts, any, and basically anything that is available to you within the software, which yes. means that you have millions of different possibilities. Options. Because options because there is all the tools, there is the motifs, there is the fancy fills, there is converting the outlines to whatever you want. So mm -hmm. you can go, and that's why I'm kind of scared with my uh, contest with Linda because she's kind of the, uh, the I guess, uh, well, queen of, of doing The that. creative she, person. Yes, thank you, Beth. Uh, yes. I'm, you're, you're making me even more nervous. Jennifer's over here smiling in the corner. Well, I can just tell you on Facebook, Linda might be the hot commodity. So. Oh, yeah, everybody's voting for Linda? Not okay. everybody. Okay. Well, Linda, no one's going to know whose is who, right? No, nobody's going to know whose is whose. Uh, but, yeah, it's going to be interesting. I, I, And, again, I, I don't know if what I'm going to do works. And, actually, Beth, you're going to be helping me because – we are going to be filming the whole process of us doing what I have in my head, uh, doing mm -hmm. the actual design. So I'm going to need your help on this one and we'll yeah. film it. And if it, if it doesn't work, all I can say is I'm in big trouble. So, you, but it'll be fun. You can that, blame it on me. <laughs> no, I won't, I won't blame it on you. Hopefully you'll, okay. you'll learn something, but you won't learn from my mistakes, right? We'll learn together, but it, it'll be fun. And I do just want to mention that that's what, embroidery and you know digitizing creating is all about it's it's all about us having fun and trying different things even if they do backfire sometimes and i am not trying to make excuses already because i still think i have <laughs> a fairly good chance of winning but we'll see now this uh, as best said to enter just uh, email us at our contact at embroiderylegacy.com and you'll just have to join us live because it is live it will be obviously recorded and you can watch it afterwards but we're really, really hoping that if some of you are able to, we, uh, we do need you. We, we want you to join us on Zoom, if at all possible. And um, there is, I guess, within our Zoom webinar subscription, we do have a you know, cap on how many people can sign up. So mm -hmm. uh, if you want to do it, please sign up. So make sure you do it now. Make sure you do it now. And yep. I think, did you have a, a link that you're posting or somebody's posting, Beth, as far as the... Yes, the, um, okay. they're going to be posting the link. You sign up for Zoom yourself. You pretty much just enter in your name, your email address, and then you'll get an email later. And yeah, you'll be signed up. Now, normally, we've always done paid webinars in the past, and obviously then we have to verify a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of stuff. But this mm -hmm. one, we are doing it for free. So there's absolutely no cost. You can join this webinar. And the reason why we really need you is... We are counting on you guys to vote. You're going to vote for the winners of the Legacy Design t-shirt, the EMB t-shirt, and you're going to vote for the winner of uh, Linda or myself, whoever wins that one. So that, that's going to be, you know, it's, it's going to be fun. But we really, really hope that you can join us. 
Uh, now, anything else, Beth? Did you want to say anything about how awesome it is to work with your father or uh, anything? Um, like I just that? wanted to say one more thing about the contest. Sure. Um, when they submit their pictures, just make sure that in, they are uh, high resolution and just make sure that you're in the sunlight just so that you can kind of see everything. Because if awesome. you can't see everything, then it's going to be harder to vote. Yes, for sure, for sure. The best, the best possible picture, you know, that you can take. And uh, I, I mean, everybody has a camera on their their phone. You yep. froze there for a second, Ben, so it looked kind of funny. But uh, anyways, <laughs> no problem. If anybody uh, has any questions, they yeah, can if uh, anybody put them has in the any, comments. Any questions Jennifer just mentioned? Just let us know. Put them in the comments, and we'll try to answer that for you. Uh, but I think it's going to be lots and lots of fun, and we will try to get festive for it. I am going to be during that stream. I'm going to be uh, in Canada with the kids, so we're going to be setting our. We're going to have to do some Halloween shopping. Okay, Beth. And Sounds sure good. That, that I like shopping. Good. Yeah, and decorating. <laughs> Especially so. when it's not my money. <laughs> okay, well, it is kind of your money because what's mine is yours and all that good <laughs> stuff. So, uh, anyways, uh, did you have anything you wanted to add, Mom? No, I'm just waiting to see if we have any questions okay. being forwarded. Okay, so I can't hear uh, Beth. So yes, and thank you very much, Beth. And did you want to add anything about how awesome it is to work with your father, or is that? Or your my mother? boss is great. My and colleagues are your, amazing. <laughs> but your boss is your mother because she's my boss, right? <laughs> yeah, I said she's great. Okay, well, what about me? <laughs> You're great too. Again, okay. women rule. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I, I appreciate it, Beth. I appreciate you taking the time. And if of you uh, remember anything, just tell mom because I'm going to hide you off screen for a minute. I'm going to do a little demo on the Hatch software. And then if you have anything else you'd like to add, just let mom know and we'll add you back in. Okay. Does anybody Perfect. need to be wearing the t-shirt? Uh, does anybody need to be wearing the t-shirt was a question. Uh, that is totally up to you if you want somebody to model it so that, uh, you know, but it's up to you whether you want your head you know, or your face shown or not. That, it, you know, yeah. Yeah. So that's totally up to you. Or it's Halloween. You could put it on and wear a mask. I mean, that might add to the whole, the whole thing. So just, yeah, have fun, be creative. That's our whole point. Awesome. Okay. So I'm Perfect. going to, I'm going to let you go, Beth, and we'll talk to you soon. Sounds good. Awesome. Okay, so any questions you have, guys, just please let us know with regards to the contest. And I'm going to give you guys a little demo on how to take one of these EMB files and to turn it into something. And I, I did do this earlier, and I sewed it out. It didn't take me long, so it won't take me long this time. But it is a lot of fun to get into the software and actually start playing with the different tools available. And I am just looking for my window and I can't see it. Just hold on a sec. And you'd think, oh, Jennifer, did you want to fill in some time while I'm trying to get this working? Sure. Awesome. So somebody was asking, do they need to use Hatch to be in the contest? Uh, to be in the design contest? No, you just need to use one of our designs on t shirt Okay. To you be in the EMB contest, then you would need Hatch, or you could use the Wilcom platform. If as long as it reads an EMB file, because you're going to see when I do this little demo what makes the EMB file, uh, I guess, so unique with regards to creating a design. So we actually have two ways, two different yes, contests. Two different that we're contests. Running, One is clarify. a stock design contest, so to speak. That we're supplying the files. And what's that? That we are supplying well, the files? Well, the stock design is for people who have purchased our designs. So the, any of our legacy designs, they're on our site. And the other EMB contests, those are specifically for Hatch or Wilcom platform that reads an EMB file. And we are supplying three different EMB files. So you get to choose one of the three. And it does say that in the rules that you choose one of the designs and make it up. Right. And any of the stock designs, if they did want to purchase, they are on sale. Yes, they are on sale. So uh, they're like $1.95, most of them right now. So $1.95 for a quality design. And I finally have it up, guys. So I'm going to share my screen with you right now. And I'm going to make sure that this actually, I'm going to make myself a little bit smaller over here because I want you to see the screen nice and big. And this is the design that I am going to go in and modify. So if I grab this design right now, I can basically make it whatever color I want. So I've just made it an orange jack-o'-lantern. And now, because it is, an, uh, I guess, an EMB file, it's object-based. 
And that means that when I have it selected, and I can tell it's selected if I turn off the true view, under my lettering here, I have something called break apart. And right now, if I tried to change it to a fill or an outline, it's grayed out because it's, it's basically compressed as one piece of artwork. So the first thing you need to do when you bring in one of these three files is break it apart. And then when it's broken apart and I select it, the break apart tool is now grayed out as well. That means it can't be broken apart anymore. But when I did that, now I can change it from a outline to a fill stitch. So all of these tools are now available. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it back to the original. And while it's broken apart, I'm going to take this and I'm going to duplicate it one time. And when I duplicated it, I'm going to change the colors because I want to make sure that I have almost like a master file that I'm working with. Now I can go in here to this object now and I'm going to zoom in. So I'm going to hit the B key and zoom in just to the top here. And while that is highlighted, I'm going to take my knife tool and I'm going to take my knife tool and I'm going to cut right across this line right here and hit enter. And now it has broken it apart into two different objects. And there is a travel between them. That's really irrelevant, but there's a two different objects. Now I'm grabbing just that one object. I'm going to grab my knife and I'm going to break it apart even more. So I'm going to break it apart here. And let's just see here. Let's go enter. Now I have it broken apart into that object. And now I'm going to take these, this one object and break it apart with a knife. I'm going to cut it into another couple of pieces. So what I've done in reality is I've taken that one piece and I've broken the little leaves and the stem off so that now I can basically do whatever I want with them. So if I look at that object here and here, I'm going to grab this one and now I'm going to make that green. So if I look at it now and I turn on the true view, I have a green little stem. So I was able to break it apart, make it a different color. And now if I grab each of these individually, I can go into my edit objects and I can start to change angles or remove stitch angles. So I'm going to add stitch angles and I'm going to start adding angles here so that it's going to give me a, a stitch point sort of like here and here. Let's do an angle. And then I have another angle. I'm going to do one, let's say, right here. So I have to click on Add Angles. And I'm just going to keep adding some angles all the way to here. And then I can grab one more angle, and I can do it from here to here. And let's do that. So now I've changed the angles of that object so it's no longer a straight stitch. And I can now do the same thing to this side. I'm going to start adding stitch angles into the corners, hit Enter. And then I can grab another angle. And I can add another stitch angle. Let's go right over here and do it from this side. Hit enter. And now I have that turned into a satin stitch. And now I can take that object and I can change that. Let's duplicate that one time. So I'm going to duplicate that. And I'm going to go down into my objects, bring these over so that I have two of them in a row. Because the first object I want to turn into an actual fill stitch. So let's change it to a fill. So now I'm going to grab that one. Actually, I should, I guess I should grab that one into a fill. So now you can see a fill stitch. And then I'm going to take the next one right here, and I'm going to turn that into an outline. But I'm going to turn the outline. Uh, let's just go right over to here, bring that down. I'm going to take that outline, and I'm going to turn it into a satin stitch. So now I have a satin stitch here. And if I hit that outline, and if I add the actual knife tool, I can also come here. And I can start to break this apart. And I can come in here now. And that way it's given me a nice angle as I go forward. So that's going to give me a nice outline right there. Then what I can do is I can come to this piece right here. And I can start to have some fun with it. I can take this and I can duplicate this another time. And let's grab this one here. And let's turn that into a... Uh, Let's do this. I want to turn this into outlines. Let's grab this one here. Do this one into outlines. So there is an outline right there. And now I'm going to grab this outline right here. And I'm going to tell it to become an applique. So I'm going to go to auto digitize. And let's go, where's appliques? OK, there's applique. I'm going to tell this to be a convert to applique. So I'm going to have an applique there, and I'm going to tell it to be a four millimeter applique stitch. 
So let's grab that and make that four. So come over here and I want to make sure that my cover stitch is four millimeters, enter. And then I'm just going to zoom in here and I'm going to fix these little areas right here. Let's grab that object, hit the H button and get rid of one of those and one of these. So it got rid of that stitch. And there I have an applique. And now I'm going to grab all of these objects right here. And I'm going to change the color of those to, let's say, a light color. But I'm going to take all of those again. And I'm going to duplicate them. So now I have them down twice. And let's change that color again to a outline. So it looks almost like this. So now I have an outline. Now the reason why I did that is because I'm going to grab all of these outlines and I'm going to turn them into satin stitches. And then I'm going to grab all of these objects. Actually, let's go back for one sec. I didn't like the way it necessarily did that. So let's grab these objects here and let's change those all to fill stitches. So I'm going to change that to a fill stitch. To Tommy, grab those, grab this one, hit the H key. I'm going to change the angle so it's horizontal. I'm going to take this one here and I'm going to hit the H key and change the angle so it is going up and down 90 degrees. And then the eyes, I can grab one eye here, hit the H key. I'll have this eye slanting in one direction. And then I'll take this one here and I'll have this eye changing to the other direction. So now they're all pointing in different directions. And now I'm going to change this and I'm going to basically tell it to be a tatami stitch at 1.2 millimeters with a travel on edge and absolutely no underlay. So that's going to be mylar. And I didn't grab the other one, so I got to change those as well. Let's grab these two. Again, no underlay, change it to 1.2 millimeters, enter. And now that's going to be mylar as well. And then I'm going to grab this outline, which is the actual applique. I'm going to start to grab these here. So let's grab this one and let's turn it into a satin stitch. Let's grab this one, turn it into another satin stitch. And I'm trying to see why it actually added that. I'll figure out why afterwards. But here, let's grab this one, satin stitch, and this one into a satin stitch as well. And I can see that there are some running stitches on top of those for some reason. So I'll just get rid of those one, two, and three. And now I have that done. And now all I have to do is go into the center object and let's do this as a motif. And let's go right back up here, get rid of that artwork altogether. So I got rid of that one. So I'm going to grab that as a motif and I'm going to grab that motif. I'm going to use a regular single motif and I'm going to click on the down and let's just move this off so that it doesn't disappear on me. And I'm going to choose a cool looking motif. And I wish I could remember which one I chose earlier. So we'll just see if I can visually tie it in. And I think it was something like Actually, you know what? I'm going to have to find out. Let me, I want to find out because it turned out so well on this one. And this one was number zigzag 15, or sorry, zigzag 14 is what it was. So let's go back over here. Let's grab that. And I want to again go down here to single motifs, move this over. And we're going to go zigzag 14, which would be all the way down here. And there's number 14 right there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that object, make sure that there is effects on there, hit the H key, and let's just make sure that I change the start and stop. So hopefully it will regenerate that line. I don't know why that little line's in there, but I'll see that I find out afterwards. And let's go over here and grab it. And let's do this one to effects and do a Florentine effect. And let's try 3D warp instead. And let's go back here, hit the H key, and see if I can get rid 
of that line for some reason. Okay, now there's got to be a reason in there afterwards. Let's take that off. I'll have to go in and adjust that afterwards. There it is. There's a line there. Here's a line here. Usually if you go into your sequence view, you can kind of tell where things will be. But essentially, this is now going to be an applique design. I've changed the tops to a fill stitch with a bordered outline. I have satin borders around. I did it so that it's going to have mylar eyes and a mylar nose and a mylar mouth. And then I have a motif fill over top. But on that motif fill, I've actually done it so it has like a global warping effect. So that's how easy it is. I know I went a million miles an hour, but you can see how you can go in and grab these objects and start to duplicate them and play with them and basically make them any stitch type that you want. Any questions coming in, Jen? A uh, few on the contest, but if anybody has any questions in regards to what you're what I'm adjusting doing? and editing, yeah, yes. For those of you free. who know the software, you kind of followed along and you understand how I broke apart the objects and how I was able to duplicate them and just choose different stitch types. I know when I did the other sample, I did add a couple more steps. So I had a placement stitch for the mylar and then a you know running stitch to hold it into place. So that's sort of how that was uh, that was working. But the really cool thing is that when you are done, you end up having a design that should look something like this. And this is where I've always said colors really, really do matter if you choose the right colors or not. I did this sample first and I was not 100% happy with the colors. So let's just see if we can get nice and close there. So there's the motif and there's the mylar. And then I decided that it would look actually a little bit more dramatic if I took that and I actually did it with the black outlines. So there's that design with an applique and you have the black outlines, which really makes it stand out even more. So it did not take that long, like literally, you know, five or 10 minutes, you can take an object and you can do as many different things to it as you want. Cool. Awesome. Okay. Any, any comments or things coming in? Can no questions you? on what you're editing right now. No. Okay. Did you have not any that questions I've seen. about the contest? A few contests, but uh, okay. we'll bring Beth back on at the end. Sure. Sounds good. Okay. And actually, I have a couple more things to show you guys before I bring Beth back in. I wanted to, let me just bring my PowerPoint back up. And Okay. Okay. So here, actually, let me just go over here one second. And actually that is the perfect size right now. Okay. So here I do have a couple more slides that I want to show you real quick. Sorry about this guys. Uh, number one, who wants to win? So I need you guys, whether you're on Facebook or on YouTube, just type in the word win, win and we're going to randomly choose a couple of people to win a design pack. Uh, and actually it's not really a pack. It's a new tile scene that we've done. And I wanted to show you guys this tile scene live. There is 12 different tiles. If you saw our Liberty Bell tile scene that we did, which consisted of 25 files, there was how many stitches in that, Jen? 2.6 million stitches, I think, in that design. This one only has 939,826 stitches in the 8-inch size. There's also 6, 7, and 8 inches, so you can make it larger or smaller. I, of course, did this in the largest size available. So I'm going to uh, switch cameras for a second. Real quick, before yep. you jump over to that, Sue is asking, what ESA font did you use for that pumpkin? Uh, we did not use, we used an ESA font that has not been released as of yet. So we actually have an ESA font that is going to be released for Halloween. Uh, and it includes much more than those original three files. But what I did was I saved three of the files out of that ESA font and we're giving those to you free for the contest. So that ESA, uh, it's a flexi fill shape. So because they all go one direction, that will be available soon. Okay. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna go over to camera C right now and then I gotta walk over there. So give me a second guys. Hopefully you'll be able to see me on camera C. There we go. 
Now, I can't hear anything now, but I want to show you guys our tile scene. And I'm right over here near my lovely wife, Jennifer, right now. But she's not coming into the camera. I can guarantee you that. So for those of you who haven't seen our tile scenes before, I do them so that you could, if you wanted to, actually piece them together and sew them. But if you've met me, you know that I'm an embroiderer and a pretty good digitizer, but I do not know how to sew a straight line on a machine if my life depended on it. So what I do is I do these tile scenes and I actually do them and I staple them onto these pre-made canvases, which I got on Amazon. So it's an eight inch canvas. And I'm just gonna start laying these out so that you can see exactly what this is going to look like. So this is going to turn into 930, whatever it was. Do you remember what I said? 939,000 stitches, I believe. I don't recall exactly. Okay, it was a lot. 939,826. Okay. So there is the first line. Here is the second. I love doing these because as you put your tiles together, the image just appears. And these are all very, very low density designs. So we made sure that even though they look dramatic and because it's like artwork, they do actually translate best from a little bit of a distance when you get up really close you can see all of the individual stitches but when you step back from it that's when the whole thing appears and we have our last four here or three i should say our last row of four so there is in reality 12 different tiles And Jennifer, you should have been doing this because you could have been my Vanna. There's our tile scene. So give us some give us some thumbs up and some hearts and comment if you think this looks pretty cool. But it's obviously a significantly large piece of artwork that you can embroider and just it's beautiful. Right. And you would line it up correctly. <laughs> Did I not line it up? Well, it's it's kind of there. I mean, I would I, I do have, I do this on our wall in the house and I actually have a laser that I use to line everything up 100% perfectly, but I, I think they more than likely get the gist of it. So that is our tile scene. And this is what it actually looks like on a real wall. So let's just come over here. And I'll just come over here and call it back up. So here is what it looks like on a real wall. And it's actually, it's pretty cool. And they, they look beautiful. So it does look actually better in person for yeah. sure. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. it definitely looks better in person. Uh, again, it's, it's very loose fill stitches that are being laid out. And we do have it on special. So if anybody's interested in doing the sunrise scene, it's on sale for 39 95 and then before we go and we bring Beth back in and announce a winner I did want to let you guys see one more design that I am working on uh, that's going to be released Well, actually I did work on it. It's done uh, It's going to be released next week So this is not available, but I wanted to show it to you because we are not doing a live next week Our next live will actually be at the Halloween party. So I'm going to be uh, off for a little bit I'm pretty sure Jennifer just looked at me like we're not doing one until the Halloween party uh, but I'm going to be traveling and, and shooting videos for the next couple weeks. So uh, I don't know if we'll have time to do a live, but we'll do our best to. For those who are asking where the tile link uh, is, mm -hmm. I believe it's coming up shortly. Awesome. So the kids will place that. And for those of you who don't want to do something quite that big, but you'd like a large design, we have a whole series, what we call large legacy designs. And if you are, I guess the upper two levels, you can buy them individually, so you don't have to be a member of our club on any of our designs, but uh, these are bonus designs that you get with the higher levels of our membership, or you can buy them individually. And this one I kind of uh, like because it is artistic, it's a large design, and this one only has 175,337 stitches, and my name is John Deere, so I just thought it was fitting to do a really nice deer. So hopefully you guys can see that. It's hard for me to, my face is in front of the camera, but that actually gives you a pretty cool view of what it looks like. I don't know if this camera will be a little better maybe. 
but that's the actual design right there. And again, still nice soft embroidery, but I love doing the types of designs that really do, you know, replicate true artwork. And that one's pretty cool. Can I hang this in my office, Jennifer? You're running out of room. I know, so I'm running out of room. <laughs> we'll have to find a spot for it, but which is why I need a bigger office. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> actually, I've taken over most of the downstairs here now, haven't I? You certainly yeah. have. Okay, so awesome. Uh, any questions, guys, with regards to the contest? I'll bring Beth back in right now. Uh, actually, Beth is, are you ready, Beth? I think she's there. And actually, well, I'm going to bring her in because I see Jesse standing there. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Hi, Beth. Hi. Okay, so we had some uh, other questions, I think. Mom, did you want to field them over? And I did see Jesse in there for a second, didn't I? Did he step out of the Jesse. Can I say hi? Beth, do you see here. the questions? Can you read those off? Um, so Thank what does it mean? <laughs> Surprise, Jess, does you love that does that? Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I don't know if she can see them or not. Mom's asking, uh, do, can you see the questions, Beth, that have come in? Or, um, well, I know one of the main questions that has came in is uh, what the prizes are going to be. Uh, the prizes are going to be the first, second, and third place for each of the contests. So we're going to have six different, I guess, prizes. We're giving away uh, memberships to our legacy club. So our uh, embroidery addict membership. It includes, I think, is it 50 downloads per month and all of the yeah. bonus legacy designs. So it does equal it if you're to pay individually like thousands of dollars worth of designs that you get within the membership. And then we it's will- It's about $2,500 value. $2,500 value. So yeah. we're giving away two of those and we're giving away two of the mid range and two of the lower range to first, second and third place. So those will be the prizes this year. And we'll have other giveaways as well. So gotcha. other questions, Jennifer, you are live. Oh, second. Uh, Beth, do you want to briefly touch on the difference between one to the other? I think there's a few um, people who weren't understanding there are two different contests. Okay. Um, yes, I will actually make um, two little um, slideshow post so it won't be as confusing because I know they both just sound like they're Halloween contests right now. Um, one is for um, the hatch users, you get your free ESA fonts and the other is for those who are just using the embroidery designs. Uh, we do currently have the sale so um, yeah you can use any of our designs for that. Um, I will post something just so it makes a little bit more sense and it's easier to understand. Okay, and where will you post those? Uh, I'll post it on our Facebook group. Um, okay, that was my that was my little lead in to <laughs> you'll want to join our Facebook group because we uh, we have a, a ton of things there that will help you out, right? Yes, Bethany, can people um, enter both contests? Of course. Yep. Yeah, um, you you are only them. allowed to do one entry per person though per contest. Yes, one entry per person per contest. And uh, a couple other things I'll mention quickly before we go. Uh, we do have two webinars that are happening. One is coming up in like one week, I, I guess uh, just over a week, which is our Digitizers for Be Beginners workshop. And that is a kind of a double webinar. We do the first part on the 18th and the second part on the 25th. And that's almost like a crash course on digitizing. And we give you the demo version of the software and we get you acquainted with all of the tools that you need to learn how to digitize, digitize, because that's usually the biggest part is people get a program and they don't know what to do next. Uh, then our 3D Puffy Foam is October the 2nd, which is a couple days after our Halloween bash. And um, of course you can download the free trial of Hatch if you want to participate in both the contests. We do have a free digitizing challenge that gets people using their free demo version because getting a free 30 day trial means nothing if you don't have some, I guess, education to help you get past that initial learning curve. And then as Beth said, we do have two different groups and they are growing rapidly. So uh, Beth, you just want to tell them a bit about the difference between the two? Um, sure, our machine embroidery group um, is all about um, 
anything to do with your uh, embroidery machine and your designs. Um, and then we also have our Welcome Hatch Embroidery Software Group, and we pretty much give you your tips, tricks. We have our free tutorials. We have our fan favorite Friday Triday. We have a really good one coming out tomorrow, so keep your eye open for that. Awesome. Um, yeah. And we, we do appreciate your support. If you want to tell your friends about our, our education and all of our content, it would be appreciated because we, we just hit 19,000 members on the uh, machine embroidery group and we're over 9,000 on Hatch. And I think we are over 39,000 on um, YouTube. YouTube. Mm -hmm. So I, I want to hit 20, 10, and 40. That's my goal because we're so close. So if you if you could tell all your friends, that would be awesome. Spread the, spread the word. A few more questions, okay. Beth, on the contest. So we can modify the design in any way. We just need to have the focal point, correct? Yes. Yeah, you can, yes. as far as the EMB file is concerned, you can take that EMB file and you can go crazy with any of the tools within the software if you want to you know, digitize manually some things within that object. If you want to, you know, take the haunted house and add little ghosts inside the window or just say it's it's all about you using the software. So you're not adding any existing stock designs. You're being creative with the software on that one. The other contest is for people who don't digitize and because uh, we don't want to exclude them. We, we want to give you guys a, a fun project to do as well. And that one you can take a shirt and use as many of our designs to embellish a shirt as you want. Okay, I think you just answered the next question. Could awesome. we add things to the designs? Uh, you can add things to the, the uh, and I, I know, I think this is spelled out, isn't it Beth, in the, in the rules? You can actually use as many stock designs in the stock design contest as you want, but you can't use stock designs in the EMB. Uh, right. Yeah, so the, the one that is for Hatch, which is the EMB file, that one is a focal point specifically on using one of the three designs that we give you as the focal point, and then do whatever you want to it in the software to add to it. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. I don't see any other questions at this time. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So I think uh, we, we won't go too long on this guys. I hope you enjoy. Wait, 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 wait. We yeah, do need to pick our winners. Yeah, no, I'm, okay. I wasn't going to, I wasn't going to stop yet. <laughs> okay. It's like, it's like having the Bobsy twins here. Jennifer's yelling at me over there and Beth's yelling at me over here. Okay. Everybody yeah. throw Beth and the baby some hearts. Okay. Yeah. Beth and the baby some hearts. And um, yeah, I, I, I knew that I shouldn't do the thing that I always make. What do I always make you do Beth when uh, we get. I'm not doing it. I know you're not, but what do I tell them? What do I make you do? Show you my belly. <laughs> yeah, I always have her show me the belly because I, I want to see the, the growth process. You know, I want to see how big the bump's getting. So anyways, yeah, hearts for And when's the baby due? Boxing day. Unboxing um, day. So Didn't it's plan be, that too well. <laughs> uh, but at least you'll awesome. be here for winter, so for yeah, Christmas. Got it. Yeah, you did. Beth did that on purpose. She wanted to get me into the cold weather and the snow on purpose this year. And yes, I'm going to be there. So winners. Oh, winners. Okay. And this is for the tile scene. So if you win, actually, I'll give you your choice. If you uh, win, you can either choose the tile scene or you can choose the, I guess, the standing buck design that I did. So either one, your choice. And this does come in uh, four different sizes to fit from a uh, 200 by 300 frame all the way up to the largest frame for the, you know, uh, I guess, newest brother machines and all that good stuff. Okay. So our Facebook winner tonight is Helen Spengler. So congratulations, Helen, if you want to email in to contact at embroiderylegacy.com. And let Leanne in the office know if you want the tile scene, the beach tile scene, or if you want it, the deer. Congratulations. And the YouTube winner we have on is April Jackson. So congratulations to April. If you could kindly email into contact at embroideryagency.com. Awesome. Well, thank you guys. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I hope you guys stay uh, safe and healthy and uh I guess we will see you for sure at the Halloween bash. Okay, so Beth, you need to start shopping for that. <laughs> All right, make sure that uh, 
you sign up in the Zoom link. Yeah, the Zoom link. We would really appreciate that because uh, it's the it's the way we're going to vote for the winners. So we need to have some people there so they can help us with the voting. And we're going to be, I guess, choosing the finalists, but it, we have to make sure it's impartial. So you guys get to choose, and that way the heat's off us, right, Beth? Yep. <laughs> yeah, Jennifer, dear, anything else before we go? That's all I see. Awesome, Thanks, everyone. Awesome. Thank you, everyone. Blessings, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.